This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. When selling your home, the tremendous importance of making a good first impression cannot be overstated, and that includes curb appeal. Good Morning Heartland is on the go. Samantha Croy is live with what you need to know before you put your house on the market. Coming to you live, this is Good Morning Heartland on the go. in Kirksville at Heritage House Realty and I'm here with owner Mike LaBeth. A lot to be talking about as far as curb appeal and how to increase your home as far as attracting people from the eye. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Not too bad. It is early out there. A lot of snow on the ground. Yes, yes. So it's not completely ideal for people to start this process now, but it's never too early to start planning. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's what spring's going to be here before we know it. So uh, it's, it's time to start getting the wheels in motion. And maybe we'll be lucky and the groundhog will have been fibbing and spring will be here a little bit sooner than he was saying. But we have a lot to talk about. So heading into these graphics here, we have a few things that we can do to kind of increase the curb appeal on our home. The first being fresh landscaping. So tell me a little bit about what people can do. Um, you know, get rid of, uh, you know, the, the bushes and trees that have overgrown, uh, you know, the front area um, and replace those with maybe some newer, more modern type bushes. Um, you know, mulch is always good, fresh mulch. If you go the mulch way, you can also go with rocks, um, which is good too. So just kind of freshen everything up, clean all the le old leaves out from fall and, and um, just kind of get things freshened up for the spring. And it can range too based on your budget as well. You know, if you're just buying plants to put in, if you have that money, you can do that. Or just trimming up what you already have, making sure the lawn is staying cut, green, and nice like that. That's right. That's right. Now our next one here is paint. What can people do with paint and the different options? Um, you know, it's always good to freshen stuff up. Um, you know, get the old paint off. If it's flaking off, uh, put a fresh coat of paint on, um, you know, on your on your soffit and fascia and front door and any or even the siding if your if your siding is paintable so um, it's always good to just keep a good fresh look going and now my favorite my pinterest brain here is an accent piece so if people can't afford to freshen up their entire home they can add maybe a bold color to their door or shutters is that pretty popular that's always a great idea it's always good to to not make them you know really crazy bold but um, you know a good accent color always helps the the curb appeal of the house and now as we're moving along, outdoor lighting. I love this. We had outdoor lighting back home, and it just really added something. Not only can you see and not trip over everything, but it just adds a little something to your home, and you can do that based on your budget as far as solar lighting or the full installation. Sure. Yeah, you know, the solar lighting is probably more for the do-it-yourselfer. Um, you know, it's really easy to do. You just basically take them out of the package and put them in the ground and, you know, let, let the sun do its work. So. Um, there's some more extensive lighting you can get into with, um, you know, the electrical side of stuff um, that really still isn't too hard, but, um, you know, definitely the solar lights are, are the easiest way to go. And lastly, what we want to talk about is decoration. If you have a front porch, maybe spice it up with a porch swing or what, do, what could people do if they don't have a front porch? Um, you know, there's lots of different options. You can, you can put some rocking chairs out, you know, in different locations and kind of build up around those. Um, you can always do some sort of berm type thing in the, in the yard as well. Um, the front porch definitely adds a little bit. So if you do have a front porch, it's good to utilize that maybe with some nice clean railing, um, some potted plants and so on. So. so a lot of options here for people to go about doing. Maybe even a bird bath, a front garden in the front of your home. These are great options for people to start thinking about and maybe weeding out some of the options that they want to do. Thank you so sure. much for joining me this morning. Hey, you bet. It was a pleasure. Absolutely, and I hope to see a lot of people out there working out on their homes and getting them spruced up for spring, making them look really nice. Reporting live in Kirksville, Samantha Croy, KTVO News.